Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. This article from T-Mobile's newsroom, this is an older article when they first launched the voice over NR commercial capability. I'll leave a link to it for those of you who may have not seen it. But in today's video, I've done more testing and I wanted to uh, talk about a very interesting discovery of, uh, of, of, of voice over NR. So I've tested it on strand mounts where... Uh, T-Mobile deployed N41 onto the strand mount small cell. For those of you who don't know what a strand mount is, um, I've, I've posted several videos of the strand mount while testing. It, it's, it's, a, it's a small cell that is it, it's deployed um, on cables. It's not, it's not your standard C-RAN small cell that's on the pole. This is deployed on hanging cables. Now, what I've what I've discovered is it seems, at least for my market, voice over NR is enabled only when you're connected to 5G SA. That's the standalone that is no longer require like reliant on the uh, LTE core. The problem is the iPhone, for whatever reason, likes to connect to NSA. Even if you have standalone enabled voice over NR enabled in the cellular settings, the iPhone prefers NSA. When you're on NSA, you will not connect to voice over NR. So what I noticed, if, if you start the call on SA, then the call remains on voice over NR. So if... Because if you, during the call, drop off on NSA, the call will just drop. And if you start the call on NSA, it's, it's voice over LTE. And you, during the call, you, you just randomly won't connect to, to SA voice over NR. It doesn't, it, doesn't, uh, it doesn't work that way. So like I said, if you start the call on 5G SA, the call will continue on voice over NR. If you drop off of SA onto NSA and you connect the call on NSA, you're just going to be connected to voice over LTE. That's what I've discovered. The, the iPhone situation, I, I, I don't know what it is. I don't know why it's, why it prefers, um, NSA over SA. SA is enabled in my market across all sites, but the iPhone seems to prefer in most cases it's, it, it prefers NSA. Um, I don't know if you guys experienced that. I've seen some, I, I think there were some people that mentioned that like, Hey, you know, on the galaxy devices, it prefers essay. I've seen every galaxy that I've tested the service mode in a, in a T-Mobile store. It's always connected to SA. but the iPhone, I mean, it's, it's always NSA for the most part from what I've seen. So it's, it, it, it's, it's very interesting. Um, I don't know if it's if it requires a carrier update or another software update to get the iPhone to connect more to SA. Um, maybe T-Mobile will figure that out. Maybe in I iOS 18. I don't know the case, but um, from what I've seen, when connected to SA and Voice over NR, you can immediately tell if your speeds are are the same on the call as off the call. That's Voice over NR. That's how. That's the easiest way on on the iOS platform. To tell if you're connected to voice over NR. And the calls, I, I gotta say, they, they, they sound better on SA. They sound better on voice over NR. It's a crisper connection. It sounds better. Um, it, it feels more reliable. It's just the better connection. You have all the speed on N41 and everything else that's 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 aggregated with it. It's just a better overall connection. Um, voice over L LTE, there are still some. Uh, it, it, I haven't had a drop call on it, but I have some uh, instances where the, the the other person is like garbled, like they 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 fade in and out out of the call, and I feel that's that's just um, T-Mobile no longer caring much about LTE on the LTE side. Like they're reducing capacity, so there's not a lot of uh, capacity left on on LTE. Um, the focus is 5G. So it, it, it would make sense that even for calling, like if they're looking at any issues, it's related to voice over NR, even though I feel they should still care for LTE, but everything is being reduced on LTE. And 
I don't think they're, they're they care much to for a voice over LTE to begin with. I mean, do they really care much about calling? Is that where you know engineers get bonuses and stuff? No, that's that's what I was ter- told early on. There are certain metrics and and percentages that the engineers have to hit, like. A certain amount of N41 deploy gets you this bonus, 600 gets you that bonus. But there's never a bonus if you get 99% on calling scores. You know, there's never a bonus there. So the engineers don't care for for it as much. So it would have to come from the higher up side telling the engineers like, hey, you you fix this. You get this right. And and I don't think that's, that's, that's happened yet. Maybe for voice of an NR, it's a different story. But... It's it's going to be interesting to see once this is hopefully straightened out and it's just straight SA across where I can test like voice over NR across the whole market. Then I then I get a bit better picture of what it's like. But for now, it's like most of the time I'm on NSA and then that's a voice over LTE call. So just wanted to share that with you guys. Let me know if you're experiencing the same on an iPhone. I know for the Galaxies. Like 99.9% of the time it's on SA. So most of you, honestly, probably are now on voice over LTE. I mean, voice over NR. I know T-Mobile said they wanted to deploy the first 100 million pops. But honestly, I think they've gone beyond that. I think they've turned it on in, 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 in most areas, at least on the standalone side. It, it should be on because they have a very high percentage of 600 deployed. N41 is now on all sides just about... They, they've moved PCS, so they, they got the capacity to run voiceover and NR nationwide. There is no reason, in my opinion, why it shouldn't be turned on. But, you know, they're always tweaking. They're always, they're always optimizing. And they say they want to get the drop call rates. There's always drop call rates, no matter the technology for any carrier. And the goal is to get your drop call rate as low as it is on voiceover LTE. That's what they want to get to on voiceover NR. And once they get there, that's when they will launch it uh, nationwide, is, is what I was told. But that was a few months ago. I, I, I think now they should be ready for prime time, in my opinion. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Like, share, subscribe, follow my social media outlets. This is Tyrone with Tech Live. See y'all in the next one. Peace.